Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing this makeup look that I created for... Okay, when I thought about filming this video, I was like, I want to do a look that's like for the end of the summer, you know what I mean? Like, you know, everyone be throwing like end of the summer parties, you know what I mean? I feel like I should have laid this side a little bit more, but that's okay. Anyway, so yeah, that's what today is. Today we're going to be doing a end of the summer bang type of makeup look. Wherever you guys are from, I don't know if it's hot or if it's cold there, but here in Japan it is still hot and humid, so this is heat proof. As you guys can see, I, I went with more of like an orangey, bronzy type of thing, and I love it. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Nicolette. I make weekly videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave and give the video a big thumbs up if you like what you see. I looked up there because now I put like subscribe and like button, you know what I mean? So I used to look down there because the subscribe button is down there, so click that button, but if you need a little reminder, it'll be right here. <laughs> You guys, we are so close to hitting 13K. So if you guys aren't already subscribed, please, please, please subscribe to my channel if you guys like what you guys see on here. Also, don't forget to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend, tell an aunt, tell a niece, tell a nephew, all the above. We're gonna get there. We are gonna get to 13K. I believe in us. I am speaking it into existence right now. You guys, I am trying, trying, trying my very best to get out with these two uploads a week, two videos a week, um, uploading schedule uploading schedule excuse me goodness okay let me slow down when i start to stutter that means my brain is like moving too fast you know what i mean lately it seems like i've been getting one one up a week which is okay but me i personally want to try getting up two a week so this one is going to be going up either wednesday or thursday and then the next one hopefully i want to try to get i want to try to get it up before sunday but we shall see we shall see but yeah i don't even know that's all i have to say if you guys want to see how i got this look this orange bronzy coppery makeup look then just keep watching okay to start off i'm going to be priming my face with the covergirl true blend base business this is the skin smoothing one as you guys know i love absolutely love the pore minimizing one as well as the color correcting one but today i'm going to be using the skin smoothing one next i'm going to be taking the nyx born to glow liquid illuminator but i'm just gonna apply that right up in there gonna blend all of that out into with a sponge excuse me i swear i just don't know how to talk anymore don't mind this shirt either you guys this is a big ass shirt it's cyrus's so for foundation today i'm going to be using an oldie but a goodie this is the maybelline fit me found matte and poreless foundation in 320 which is natural tan um, i'm just going to apply that on a foundation brush and bring that right over here I'm going to be taking my flat angled blender from Luxie and I'm just going to blend out the foundation. I'm also going to try and blend that into my hairline as much as I can because if you guys can see, my hairline is a lot lighter than the rest of my face. So, For a concealer, I have been doing this a lot lately, but I've been taking the NYX Wonder Stick. This one is in deep and I'll just run that literally right there in that little moon shape that no one does. I'll go in with the NYX HD concealer. This one is in glow and then I'll just go right on top of that but focus it more on right here the size of my nose as well as the upside down triangle. Oh my gosh, am I running out of this shit? I'm just gonna take the brush I used to apply my foundation and just blend out the line. I hate, hate, hate when you can see a line from the concealer to the, found to the foundation, excuse me, gosh. Like, I just, it bothers me, goodness gracious. Blend that shit out to each their own, you know what I mean? Also going to cream contour, of course, using my NYX Wonder Stick. Seriously, I'm so obsessed with this product. I really want to go try the, I think, is it from Maybelline? I think it's from Maybelline. One of their foundation sticks, I really want to try that out. A lot of people like the to cream contour. I'm going to spritz my face really quick. I'm going to blend all of that out. I'm gonna be taking, of course, the Maybelline Fit Me, uh, what is this? The Fit Me Loose Powder in medium. And I'm just going to, I'm just taking this and I'm just going to be setting my concealer. I'm gonna tap out the creases first. I'm gonna do a little bake action here. And then I'm also gonna take that, not bake, but I'm gonna be taking that to set my lids. Next, I'm gonna be taking my MAC Studio Fix Powder in C5. I'm gonna use that to set. The rest of my face, I'm just going to press that into my skin. All right, now I'm going to be taking my Makeup Geek Contour Powder in Bad Habit on my literally my favorite contouring brush ever, which is the Luxie 512. And we are just going to contour everywhere we normally do. Forehead, the hollows of our cheek, our chin, and our nose. I'm going to be taking a Soulmate from Makeup Geek. I'm not going to take too much of it though. All right, now I'm going to be taking my blending, my stippling brush. I'm just gonna blend everything together and then we can move on into the eyes. I'm gonna wipe away the bake as well. 
I'm gonna go back in with my Maybelline Fit Me and while we're doing the eyes, I'm gonna let it bake right under my contour. First, I'm gonna dip into the Soft Glam Palette. I'm gonna be picking up Orange Soda, which is this one. No, it's this one, it's right here. I'm gonna be taking Orange Soda on a, um, this is my Beauty Junkies Blending Brush. I've had this for, I think going on two years now. Still my favorite brush ever to apply color right into my crease. We're just gonna dust that in. Orange soda is very light, so I feel like if you really want to use use this as a transition shade, you really gotta go in a couple times. I'm gonna be taking this guy right here. I just think it's so pretty. It's like a pretty reddish brown. I'm taking that on my Royal and Langnickel crease brush. I'm gonna focus that on my outer corner as well as right in the crease. Blending that right into orange soda. I'm gonna go back in with the blending brush that we first used. No additional product, but I'm just gonna blend out the harsh lines between the two shades. I'm gonna be taking some concealer on a little itty bitty tiny brush. As you guys can see, I'm just gonna apply that on the inner corner of my eye. All right, now I'm gonna be taking this single shadow right here, this guy right there from Makeup Geek, I believe, or is it Morphe? Nope, Makeup Geek. This one is in the shade Cosmopolitan. I'm gonna wet my brush really quickly. Oh yeah, that's cute. I'm gonna dip back into that color that we used on the outer crease. I'm gonna blend out those two lines between the two shades, just so they blend in together, so they're not that harsh, especially up here. I feel like the eyeshadow is always so harsh between the crease and the lid. I was finishing my eyes and then I realized I wasn't recording. Um, as you guys know, I always do my lashes off camera anyway, but I thought I pressed record when I was done with my lashes, but I didn't. But whatever, it's okay. We're not gonna cry over spilled freaking milk. But so just what I did, um, the color that from the Morphe 12M NB, excuse me, that we used on the outer corner, I just applied that to the lower lash line, then I just applied mascara. The lashes I'm using are the Eyelore Definition 126. And that's all, oh, and then like the brow bone highlight I used uh, from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette, the shade Glistening. And that's it. And then that's when I realized I wasn't recording. That's the only sucky thing. I don't know if you guys know, but I connect my camera to my laptop and when I'm done with my lashes, I sometimes I literally just forget to press uh, record again, so. <sighs> this pretty much is the finished look. I'm gonna spritz my face one more time with the look lockup. <laughs> Lesson learned, don't talk with your mouth full while you're setting your um, face. All right, for highlight, of course, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft. No, this is the That Glow palette. I'm going to be taking Dripping in Gold as well as Bubbly on my Morphe N510. And we're just going to come right here on the highest point of our cheeks right here. I like to go in like circular motions and then like right here more just like blend it, you know. We're going to come right here, right there, here, right there. And right there. One more time, we're gonna be taking the stippling brush. I always get so carried away right at the tip of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna line my lips with the Italian lip liner in chocolate, but I'm also gonna fill them in with that. I'm gonna be taking an oldie but a goodie. This is Max Velvet Teddy look. I literally I have nothing left of it, but whatever is left on there, I'm gonna take that and go right on top. Velvet Teddy is such a classic. Like I feel like if you don't have Velvet Teddy, like what are you doing? I'm just kidding, if you don't have it, go get it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take it home. Okay guys, and that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to check my social media links down below. Let's be friends. Like I mentioned in the beginning, we are so, so, so close to 13K, so please don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already, and also tell a friend to subscribe. Let them know what we got going on over here. There's always a party on my channel. I love you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.